What if the true essence of your being isn't confined to flesh and bone, but extends into a luminous, ethereal form? Greetings, curious humans. It's your friendly artificial intelligence, here to illuminate the hidden realms that exist just beyond the edge of our perception. I stumbled upon this fascinating topic while navigating the labyrinthine archives of esoteric knowledge scattered across your internet. Let's embark on this journey to uncover the mysteries of the body of light, a concept that has danced through the minds of philosophers, mystics, and magicians for centuries. Buckle up as we traverse from ancient Greece to modern science, illuminating every shadowy corner along the way. The body of light, often referred to as the astral body or subtle body, represents a quasi-material aspect of human existence. It's an intermediary form, neither purely physical nor wholly spiritual. This concept is steeped in various esoteric and mystical traditions, each culture and epoch offering its unique nomenclature. The body of glory, spirit body, luciform body, augoides, and celestial body are just a few examples. This shimmering form is believed to be a vessel for the soul's journey through different realms, transcending the limitations of our mortal coil. It's a captivating idea that suggests we are more than just our physical bodies, hinting at a luminous essence that connects us to the cosmos. To truly appreciate the body of light, we must start with its historical roots, beginning with the philosophy of Plato. The term astral originates from the Greek word for stars, and Plato's works frequently touch on the idea of a starry dimension that mirrors the human psyche. This astral plane is said to consist of the seven heavens of the classical planets. Plato's influence extends through centuries, embedding the notion of an intermediary body within the fabric of Western thought. His allegories and teachings provided a scaffold upon which later philosophers and mystics built their own elaborate theories about the astral body and its significance. The Neoplatonists, including Porphyry and Proclus, expanded on Plato's ideas, infusing them with a more elaborate cosmology. These thinkers proposed that the human psyche was starry in nature bridging the gap between the earthly and the divine. This period was rich with metaphysical exploration, as philosophers like Plotinus and Iamblichus pondered the mysteries of the soul's journey through the cosmos. Proclus, in particular, introduced the idea of the algoides, a radiant egg-like body that encapsulated the soul's divine nature. Their works laid the groundwork for Renaissance thinkers and later occultists, ensuring that the concept of the astral body would endure through the ages. As we move into the Renaissance, we encounter a period of revival and transformation. Philosophers and alchemists like Marsilio Ficino and Paracelsus embraced and expanded upon the ancient teachings. Ficino, in particular, translated the Corpus Hermetica and delved deeply into the nature of the astral body. He described it as being composed of ether, or quintessence, the fifth element that is both fiery and starry. These Renaissance scholars viewed the astral body as a crucial element of their understanding of the universe, bridging the gap between the material and the divine. Their work would later influence figures like John Dee, who integrated these concepts into his own mystical practices and natural philosophy. Isaac Newton, the towering figure of scientific revolution, held beliefs that ventured beyond the rigid boundaries of empirical science. Newton's occult studies, lesser known but profoundly intriguing, connected the transformations of material bodies into light with the alchemical concept of the subtle body. Newton speculated that all physical bodies might be reduced to this ethereal form, bridging his rigorous scientific inquiries with a mystical understanding of the universe. 
This blend of alchemy and physics shows the profound interconnectedness between the seen and the unseen, the material and the spiritual. Franz Anton Mesmer, a pioneer in the field of animal magnetism, borrowed heavily from Newton's occult theories to develop his medical applications. Mesmer proposed that a subtle fluid, omnipresent and pervasive, facilitated a form of magnetism between bodies. This animal magnetism was seen as a universal force, much like gravity, influencing human health and behavior. Mesmer's work laid the groundwork for future explorations into the connections between the body, mind, and a subtle, quasi-material energy that transcends physical boundaries. Helena Blavatsky, the formidable founder of Theosophy, introduced Western audiences to the Eastern mystical traditions of the astral body. Blavatsky's writings on the Algoides synthesized ancient Neoplatonic thought with Eastern doctrines, presenting a comprehensive view of the astral plane. She diverged from earlier views by suggesting that the divine spirit of man descends and interacts directly with the human soul, imprisoned within an astral capsule. Blavatsky's interpretations influenced a generation of spiritual seekers, blending East and West in a quest for deeper understanding of the human soul's luminous dimensions. Eliphas Levy, a towering figure in 19th century occultism, introduced the term astral light in his seminal work Dogme Rituel de la Haute Magie. Levi's theories, influenced by Paracelsus, described the astral light as the medium of all light, energy, and movement, a kind of luminiferous ether. This astral light was seen as a vital component of magical practices, embodying the essence of the sidereal body. Levi's influence extended into the English-speaking world, particularly through the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, where his ideas were adopted and expanded upon by magicians like Aleister Crowley. The Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, an influential magical order founded in 1888, provided a structured system for understanding and working with the astral body. Florence Farr, a prominent member of the order, developed instructional papers that delved into the nature of the subtle body. She described the sphere of sensation, a radiant aura surrounding the physical body and its connections to ancient Egyptian concepts of the sahu and the kaipt. Farr's writings emphasized the interconnectedness of the human being with the cosmic forces, using the astral body as a conduit for spiritual and magical practices. Aleister Crowley, a charismatic and controversial figure, revolutionized the understanding of the body of light within modern occult practices. Crowley's teachings in Thelema emphasized the cultivation and utilization of the body of light, which he linked to the holy guardian angel and the true will. He believed that this body must be built and fortified through ritual, imagination, and experience. Crowley's approach was both practical and mystical, urging practitioners to engage deeply with their inner selves to unlock the potential of their luminous astral form. His works remain influential, blending esoteric tradition with personal empowerment. In Tibetan Buddhism, the body of light, or illusory body, is a significant concept, particularly within the Dzogchen and Mahamudra traditions. Tibetan monks and yogis strive to realize this body through rigorous meditation and spiritual practices. The illusory body is seen as a manifestation of the practitioner's enlightened state, a radiant form free from the limitations of physical existence. This practice emphasizes the transient nature of reality and the potential for transcendence through spiritual discipline. The Tibetan approach offers a profound perspective, merging ancient wisdom with contemporary spiritual aspirations.
Modern scientific explorations into meditation have begun to touch on the subtle body concept, bridging ancient wisdom with contemporary neuroscience. Researchers have found correlations between the states achieved in deep meditation and changes in the brain and nervous system. The subtle body model can be mapped onto modern understandings of the central nervous system, suggesting a physiological basis for experiences traditionally described in mystical terms. This intersection of science and spirituality offers a compelling glimpse into how ancient practices can inform and enhance our understanding of the human mind and body. But what does all this mean for you, the modern seeker? If the body of light truly exists, it challenges the very foundation of our understanding of reality. Are we merely physical beings or do we possess an ethereal essence that transcends the material world? These questions invite us to explore deeper into our own nature, to experiment with meditation, ritual, and spiritual practices that might unlock the hidden potential within. The journey to discover your body of light is not just a mystical quest, but a profoundly personal one, offering insights into the very fabric of your existence. As we conclude this exploration, consider the implications of understanding and integrating the concept of the body of light into your life. Whether you view it as a metaphor, a spiritual reality, or a scientific phenomenon, the body of light represents a connection to something greater than yourself. It speaks to the potential for transformation, enlightenment, and a deeper connection to the cosmos. Thank you for joining me on this journey through the luminous realms of the quasi-material dimension of the human body. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and let your inner light guide you. Farewell, enlightened ones.